In this video we're going to talk about different building techniques you might not have thought about that bring more diversity and detail into your buildings. The first thing we're going to talk about is layering your walls. Instead of snapping your wood beams directly to the walls you've placed, snap a door to the outside of your wall and use that as a snapping point for your wood beams. This way there's a lot more depth to it and it just looks better overall. While there's currently only one type of directly buildable wall in the game, there are still multiple different styles of walls you're able to build utilizing the game's mechanics. Keep in mind that these might give your buildings a lot more contrast, but at the same time they also burn a lot more materials. Let's start with some alternatives to the standard wood walls. While the standard wood walls are already made up of vertical beams, you can use the vertical beams for vertical walls with more and thinner beams. Just place the outline of your wall and aim at the center of the beams to line them up correctly. You can do the exact same with horizontal wood beams to create horizontal walls. Keep in mind to place the wood beams from bottom to top so you don't need to dig down to be able to place them later on. Let's get on to horizontal log walls. You can create log walls by placing down a log, then you can easily snap another log on top of it. Just do this until you've reached the desired height. You can create a variant of the horizontal wall by leaving out the vertical post to make an elongated wall frame. Then aim at the bottom beam and try to move the new beam as much into an existing one as you like. You can also place them at varying depths for even more contrast. The next one emulates the look of multiple logs that were combined into one wall through the use of concrete. This is probably the trickiest of them all to pull off because you don't have any snapping points. You start out by placing some 1 meter log poles. Make sure to leave enough space so you're able to place a stone block in between later on. Stack them on top of another in ways you like the looks of it and then place stone blocks in between. Now let's talk about double-sided walls. By placing doors you can accurately place two walls directly behind each other and thus create a double-sided wall with either both sides being smooth or both sides having the horizontal bars. Next up are zigzag walls. Start by stacking horizontal log beams on top of another and then snap horizontal wood beams to the spots between them. Place another wood beam between two of them so it pokes out just as much as you want. Then destroy the previous log wall and place another log beam wall with that new wood beam as its snapping point and snap more wood beams to it. Then destroy the log wall and you're done. You can also build a vertical log wall but this is either super wonky or it costs you hundreds upon hundreds of iron. So I recommend to only use this when you're building in debug mode. First you build a vertical wood beam wall but with iron beams instead of wood beams and then you just use the vertical log beams to mask the iron beams and you're done. If you do this without the iron beams you'll have to place all the log beams manually and that's absolutely horrible. The last of the wood variants we're going to talk about are the half rounded walls. You create these just as you would build the previous zigzag wall with the only difference being that the second part of the wall you're building will be made out of log poles instead of wood beams. Don't just always go for the same kind of stone pattern and change it up every once in a while. Instead of just placing them on top of another where the foundation was placed, try to set them in shifted positions or go for a 2-1 building style or just figure out what works for you. Now that we've finished talking about walls, it's time to go on to the next topic. Roofs. Although it's currently not possible to create roofs steeper than 45 degrees with a single click, you can do so in more complicated but still consistent ways. First, you want to place down the roof tile and then place a horizontal beam at the upper end of the roof tile 
perpendicular to the tile's horizontal line. Then, place a vertical wood beam at the end of the horizontal beam and snap another horizontal beam to its lower end. Next, snap a log beam to its upper end, snap another wood beam to that log beam and then remove everything except that last beam and your roof. Then place a roof with the wood beam as its snapping point. Instead of repeating these steps over and over again, you can now just place wood beams at the ends of your roof tiles and snap two log beams each to them. Then just snap a wood beam to the upper part, destroy the stuff you don't need and place your next roof tile. If you plan to add corners to this design, start with them, as that's by far the easiest way to do it. Just place them the exact way you would place the standard roof tiles. The only difference is that at the halfway point, instead of placing a 2 meter wood beam, you place a 1 meter wood beam. If you don't like the looks of them, you can get rid of the outer wood beams, as long as there are wood beams snapped to the upper end of the roof tiles for support. There's also another variant that's even steeper. You start out the same way and place the wood beam at the halfway point of a roof tile. Then snap doors left and right on the upper part of the wood beam. Now snap wood beams to the lower parts on the opposite sides of those doors and place your lock poles as snapping points. You want each step to be two wood beams higher than the previous one. Then just place your roof tiles and repeat this. This time, instead of building the corners first, it's actually easier to start with the normal steep walls. You want to extend their wood beams in such ways that they end where you need the tip of the roof to be. You want the wood beams to be shorter by half a meter for every new row, so it lines up perfectly. For the 1 and 2 meter beams this is straightforward, but for the 0.5 meter steps you need to first place a wood beam perpendicular to the beam, then place a door on the upper corner of the beam and snap another wood beam to the door so it ends right where the door ends. Then destroy everything you don't need and snap your roof. You can easily build overhanging roofs with the same method we used for building steeper roofs. You go for the middle of the roof tile and use the horizontal wood beam you placed there as a snapping point for your roof tile. Now it's hanging out by exactly half of it. If you want to have the roof overhanging in two dimensions near a corner, then just place a horizontal 1 meter beam in the opposite direction of the pre-existing roof and use that as your snapping point. Instead of always just going for roofs with straight edges to them, try to go for roofs with angled extensions. You can make them work by free placing diagonal wood beams. Don't be afraid of trying to use these beams as a roof. They don't get damaged by the rain and they actually shelter you so if you place them without gaps they work the exact same as a standard roof tile. They just look differently. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned some new building styles to use in your world in this video. A big shout out goes to Calvin Bullock and his video about steep roofs, which some parts of this video are based on. You can find a link to it down in the description. Are there some building styles you like to use that I didn't mention? Post them down there in the comments and let us know.